This summer's heat had me seriously questioning if maybe I really should do something about global warming while sitting in my house with the AC blasting all day. It's recommended to apply vitamin C during the summer to prevent pigmentation from melanin. Once you start looking into vitamin C, you will eventually come across SkinCeuticals C Ferrolic. But the price tag can definitely make you hesitate. I finally finished off Kiera's vitamin C essence. To be honest, I was getting kind of tired of it after buying such a huge bottle. Cosalex has two vitamin C serums. I chose the 13% version even though it's a bit more expensive. Since they say anything over 15% isn't really that effective. Vitamin C is absorbed better when the skin is slightly acidic. So using a toner after washing your face helps with that. I went with one that also tightens pores. I also grabbed the squalane cream and jojoba oil to help manage excess sebum during the summer. I'm already on my second tube of this squalane cream. I mix it with the jojoba oil and leave it on the oily parts of my face for about 5 minutes before washing up in the morning. Since the sun's getting stronger, I picked up a few extra products to better protect myself from UV rays. I went through the whole bottle but barely remember it, so it must not have been that great. In fact, the second serum I bought was cheaper than the first so I stocked up on a few bottles and I'm still using them. I got this mirror for my desk because the only one I had was in the bathroom. However, it felt too small for my vanity, so I returned it and went with a bigger one instead. With vitamin C taken care of by some affordable products, I got this oil to add some vitamin E to my routine. It's a little too sticky for morning use, so I mix it with my cream and apply it at night. To add more ferulic acid to my routine, I went with the Ordinary's ferulic acid. I'm already on my third bottle, and scored the last one for only 43 cents, thanks to a $10 coupon. It's also a little sticky and shiny, so I only use it in the morning if I'm staying home, otherwise I just put it on at night. I'm still jogging in long sleeves, but it's getting too hot for long pants now, so I switched to shorts and picked up some sunscreen for my body. The first sunscreen I used up was Luloche Posse's SPF 60. And the second one was a stronger SPF 100. After finishing two bottles of sunscreen, this is the one I'm using now. Honestly, they're all pretty similar, so next time, I'll just go with whichever one's cheapest. Reducing facial heat is especially important in the summer, since heat is set to speed up aging. So I got some toner pads to cool down my skin after jogging. This pad is from the same line as the serum I'm using right now. On days when I'm outside for a long time, I sometimes place a pad on my face and run the Booster Pro over it. 
I also grabbed another pad to keep my skin hydrated, especially since that's said to be super important in the summer. Also, when I first got my face used to the retinol toner, I didn't apply it directly for a while. Instead, I poured it on a pad to tone it down a bit before putting it on my face. I ran out of my old cleansing water, which I wasn't really a fan of because of the scent. So I picked up a new one I wanted to try. It was cheaper to get too, so I just bought both. The scent is a lot better, but the bubbles don't last as long as I'd like. July is here, and I've run out of vitamin C. While I was hunting for a new one, I found HSGN's vitamin C, which is said to be the closest to skin suricles C federally, so I decided to give it a try. Pure vitamin C oxidizes easily, so it needs to be refrigerated and used up quickly. The bottle is small, so I'm pretty sure I'll finish it before it goes bad. But for some reason, my face felt a little tingly after using it. Plus, other than eBay, it's only available on one website in the US right now. We are already more than halfway through the year. Since it's the year of the dragon, I picked up a special edition first serum at the beginning of the year to celebrate. Now that I've finished the serum and found it to price it to repurchase. I've been looking for a replacement and I think I found one. It was a little watery, but given that it was only a quarter of the price, I was pretty satisfied. Why do all my skincare products run out at the same time? This time, it was the eye serum that ran out. There's always been some debate about whether you really need eye cream, but like most beauty devices, Booster Pro says to avoid the eye area. So when I was looking for an eye cream, I found one that comes with the massage tool made just for the eye area. The problem, of course, was the price but I found a website offering it for nearly half off. First off, I checked the expiration date since the low price had me a little worried. Maybe it was just because it was pricey or maybe I was just convincing myself, but the scent was nice and it went on smoothly without any irritation. But since it was so pricey, I felt hesitant to use it every day. So I bought a cheaper eye cream that I could apply generously without worrying about the cost. In the evening, I used an eye cream with retinol, which is stronger than retinol but doesn't irritate the skin as much. Whenever my eyes need some extra attention, I put on an eye patch. I'm a big fan of this one, and I'm already on my third jar. I keep coming back to this cream and using it over and over again. I started with a night cream that had 0.3% retinol because it was focused on anti-aging. When I finished it, I tried the 1% version. But my skin started peeling, so I had to take a break from it. As my cosmetics collection grew, I bought a cart and an organizer to keep it all in order. My hair is pretty thick, and as it's growing longer, it's getting harder to manage. So I picked up a protein hair essence. 
After applying the essence to my hair, I've been drying it with my old hair dryer, which only blows hot air. I've read that using cool or lukewarm air is better to prevent hair damage. So while I was looking for a new one, I saw that Dyson has a new model out. It claims to automatically adjust the temperature based on the distance. But since my previous dryer was so outdated, I figured any new model would be an upgrade. I wondered if I really needed something this advanced. They had three colors and I went with the one that matched my new card. I had a bidet back in my New York apartment. But when I moved to Connecticut, the moving company accidentally cut the connecting hose. So I put off buying a new one for a while and was using wet tissues instead. Recently though, I started thinking that skin health isn't just about the face. It's about the whole body, which ultimately impacts facial skin as well. So I decided now was a good time to invest in a new bidet. Once I used up my pricey body lotion, I realized I don't really need to splurge on fancy lotion for my body. So I just went with the more affordable one that still does the job. When my skin was acting up, I finished the cream I'd been using at night instead of retinol. I started thinking maybe my skin was getting irritated because I was overusing the Booster Pro. So I looked around for something that didn't use frequencies and I found a Gua Sha. There were definitely cheaper ones out there, but I figured I'd treat myself since I could get $50 off with my Amex card. The website mentioned that using this cream with the Gua Sha would be a good combo. So I checked the fragrance net and saw it was about a third of the usual price. I couldn't resist buying it. I mainly use it in the evenings when I'm not using retinol cream since it's recommended not to use retinol and vitamin C together. I also apply it on nights when I use a vitamin C serum. This La Mer cream I bought along with it wasn't too badly priced for La Mer, but it's still a bit too pricey to use every day. So I save it for days when I really want to go all out with Gua Sha. I also got a brush. There are originally two sizes, but FragranceNet only had the smaller one, which I actually ended up liking better. I used to avoid brushing my hair because I felt a bit self-conscious when my hair looked too neat. But I heard that tapping the scalp with a brush can help with hair loss. So now I do that more often and just comb it out every now and then. As I sort through the skincare products that got me through this summer, I wonder if they actually slow down the aging process or if my skin would look about the same without them. Nothing improves dramatically anymore. And if I slack off even a little, it goes downhill fast. So at this point, just not getting worse feels like a win. And honestly, it's less stressful to think of it that way. Every season seems to call for extra care. Summer's all about the heat, winter's the dryness, and transition seasons bring their own challenges. So when does my skin actually get better? Does it even get better? And just like that, another summer's already slipping away. Guess I'll keep at it and hope for the best. <laughs>